okay? Mm. You need medical attention? Nah, man. Is there anybody I can call? I was just trying to go to church, but the doors are locked. The police said that maybe I should come here. Maybe you could help me. What's your name? David. OK, David. I'm Derek. You live around here? I used to. I got booted, though. Who kicked you out? Your parents? <laughs> yeah, my, my parents, my brother, all of them, man. So where you been staying? By the gas station. I got robbed, man. They took my phone. How long have you been without shelter? I don't know, like three or four days. Look, man, do you work here or something? Because the door is locked, you know? I work here. Huh? And I want to help you, but what's your last name? <sighs> Bending. David Bending. Okay. Do you know your parents' phone number? <laughs> they, don't, they don't care, man. They want me on the streets. You know, they're mad at me because I'm seeing this married chick. But we're in love, man. <laughs> you know, the police said that I was going to go to hell for sleeping with a married chick. You probably don't want anything to do with me either, huh? We're all sinners, David. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Let's get you inside and figure this thing out. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Let's go. Here. I got you. Hey, is that your cell phone? Yeah. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Hey, uh, listen, man, I, I, I could. Use the restroom, you know, on the lap. Yeah, yeah no problem. Come on. Yes. Can I get you some water and a drink? Uh, yeah, yeah, that'd be good. All right. Hey, man, so. I've only got like 20 bucks. Some lady gave it to me. I think she might have felt sorry for me. All right, so David, have you taken any drugs today? Xanax or something, yeah. How long ago? I don't know. Just wanted the pain to stop. You know, it's like, I mean, you know anything about heroin? Not really. I've been clean for like three or four months. I didn't even, I didn't even do it for the high. I just, I just wanted it to stop. It's like sometimes the only way to live is to just forget. It's like you're sick like every day. And the only way to not feel sick anymore is to just do the drug, you know? And I just, I just didn't want to feel sick anymore, you know? So why don't we, why don't we call someone? I don't want to be a burden on anybody. I'm sure your parents are worried. Why would they? They don't care. Man, they're, they're just a bunch of hypocrites, you know? I, I don't 
blame them. But I gotta tell you, it's a, it's a little hard to get clean when your entire family's a bunch of addicts, you know what I mean? Except for my dad. He was always a straight and narrow one, you know? He never drank, he never did drugs. He just liked hookers. Morning, monkeys. How's your trip, Dad? It was hot. And not the good type of hot, either. I don't know how these people in Thailand live in that furnace. It's crazy. Yet you keep going back. Well, Davey, I gotta go where the work is. How else are we gonna afford these gourmet meals? <laughs> hey, boys, that lawn isn't gonna mow itself. Okay, Mom. Don't okay me. You said you were gonna take care of it yesterday. I'll do it now. Yeah, you will. Mm-hmm. And you. What did I do? It's what you didn't do. Okay then, what didn't I do? <laughs> what? Nice. A little support here. Look, I just got home. I have no idea what's going on. Andy, go do your chores. No, Andy, okay. go do your chores, even though you don't know what they don't are. Don't make me tell you what they are. Hey, go. Thanks a lot. What? Why are you so serious? Because somebody has to be the grown-up around here, Nick. Okay. Do you know what it's like raising two boys? That's not fair. You know that I have to travel for work. Okay, yeah, I know. Be nice to have a little support while you're here, that's all. Okay, Mary. Okay. Just a little, Nick. Hey, you gonna be able to meet me there in an hour? All right, sweetie. Okay. I'll see you then. All right. I love you too. All right, bye. Yeah, come here. Hey. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Hey, uh, listen, I'm I'm trying to find a pastor that can come talk with you. You're not the pastor. I'm the facilities manager. You're religious even? Well, it depends on what that means. What does that mean to you? I don't know. You know God, David? I got this the first time I got out of rehab. How long ago was that? Hmm. When you got out of rehab? I don't know. I've been three or four times now already. <clears throat> and I thought this time I was going to stay clean. I've been praying for that. Good place to start. I mean, we, we, we used to go to church every Sunday. Yeah. Or, I don't know, every, every so often or something, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's when it started to get bad between mom and dad, you know? When we stopped going. Try not to hit every bump. I'm just driving, okay? I'm not trying to hit anything in particular. God, you know what? It's not funny. You heard her, boys. What are you laughing at? But seriously, Nick, are you like 12? What? I didn't do it on purpose. I saw that. Saw what? Oh, God. You know, just pull over. 
I said pull over. Mom, come on. He was just joking. Would you just pull over? Okay, okay. God, I'm so tired of your, your lies and your stupid jokes and your cheating. What are you talking about? I'm not stupid. Mary, you're talking nonsense. I've seen the text, Nick, and I'm done. Done with what? All of it. Where are you going? Church. Oh, no. No! <sighs> uh. You okay? How long have I been here? <sighs> You've been asleep for about two hours? It's been a long time since I've been feeling like that. What feeling is that? Comfort. Security. You can have that feeling again. You just need to reach out to your parents. Look, don't get me wrong, okay? I appreciate you, and I appreciate what you're trying to do. Okay, but you, you, you don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> you think I don't understand what it's like to feel unloved? I'm a black man living in white America. Come on, that's, that's not what I meant. It's not like that. It's a, it, you, you just, you don't understand what I'm trying to tell you. It's so unlike me. Okay, all right. Okay, it's like this. It's like, uh, this, this city just doesn't care about homeless people. You know, they, they, they don't like free thinkers. They want us gone. You know, just because, just because you're a little dirty, you get these glares. And this sort of feeling that's just like nobody, nobody wants you, you know? It's, it's like, thanks for making me feel not important, you know? People are afraid of things they don't understand, David. Trust me. I get those same looks. People are sheep. And that's why they need a shepherd. Whatever. You, you're just like all the others. You're just trying to sell me some nonsense about how everything's gonna what, be okay? Yeah, Got a hold of your dad. David, he wants to help. Why is that such a bad thing? Living with my parents sucked, okay? Period. So the alternative is better? Living on the streets? Yeah, how's that better? It's not better. It's just... So this overwhelming feeling of, 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 of gravity, you know, pulling you down into the ground. It's like, it's like chronology just doesn't exist. You know, like, like, like you just melt into the fabric of space and time. It sounds pretty bleak to me. It's all bleak, man. Don't, don't, don't you understand what we're living in? You, everybody else, it's a construct, man. Okay, it's, it's like we're always told this is this and then what is what and that's that. It's the Matrix, man. So how do you 
create a sense of future with that kind of outlook. I don't. <laughs> Every day I wake up and I feel like I'm fighting an unwinnable battle. David, you're gonna be late for work. Whatever. Hey, I wanna to talk to you about this. What about it? I told you that school is just not a good fit for me. Wh what does that even mean? I can't even comprehend your generation. L-O-L. There it is. Just like that. You can't even talk in complete sentences. Did you even read this? Nope. It's a music scholarship. Do you know what that means? Yeah, it means more adults telling me what to do. Where'd I go wrong, Davey? Where'd I go wrong? Would you stop calling me Davey? Huh? I'm not a kid anymore. Well, stop acting like one. And don't be late. You lose your job again, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's, all right, I'll tell you when that's it. That's it! What's wrong? David, take, take deep breaths. Nice and easy, relax. That's it. Just breathe. Sorry. It happens sometimes. I'm, 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 I'm okay now. You almost scared me for a second there. I have anxiety. Sometimes it just, you know, sometimes it just happens. Can I get you anything? My, my, my bag. I gotta take my meds, it's a, it's a blue bottle. This one? All right. Here, here you go. Sometimes I just forget, you know, that's, that's when the panic attacks happen. You okay? I, I've, I've taken enough of your time, all right? I should just go. Where are you gonna go? I, mean, I got a friend that lives around here. You can stay with him? I think so, I mean, <laughs> his mom loves me. Sorry, I couldn't do more. You've done a lot. Okay. Thanks. Hey, man. Take care of yourself. All right. You're not alone, okay? I'll see you later.